So we're going to write the decimal as a fraction in lowest terms, and our decimal is 0 0.45, right? Okay. Okay. So 0 0.45 is kind of like having 45 cents, 45 if you think about money, right? And every cent is a hundredth. So how many hundredths is 45 cents or 0 0.45? Yeah, it's just 45 hundredths, right? So 0 0.45 can be written 45 over 100, right? 45 cents, right? You okay with that part? Now we need to cross cancel. And you've got to choose a number that goes into the top and also into the bottom. Now, the trick here, if you look at the, the last digit in each number, it, there's a 5 here, there's a 0 here. So you might think multiples of what? Five. Yeah, not ten, but five. Yeah, five will go into both of them. Ten will not go into forty-five. Ten will go into a hundred, but it won't go into forty-five. But five will go into both. Right. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So what's five into forty-five? Nine. Lovely. What's five into ten? Two, good. And what's five into zero? zero? Zero. So you get nine on the top, twenty on the bottom. Can we cross cancel any further than that? No. So forty five cents is nine twentieths. And you're done. That's the answer. Right? Just for fun, now, you're not required to do this. I'm gonna do this really quick. But if you were to actually check that 20 into 9. 9 is not, to get it back to a decimal, by the way, 9 is 9.000. I would go 20 into 9, go 0 times, bring this decimal point up. Now 20 into 90 goes 4 times. 4 20s is 80. 90 subtract 80 is 10. Bring a 0 down. 20 into 100? 5 times. 5 times 20, 100, subtract, and remainder is? Zero. Remainder is 0. And we're done. Look at that. What do we have up here? Zero so that is checking our work. Which you could do that on a test or something, or, or just occasionally, but that's that's checking it, right?